Welcome back to Just Another Game Review. Today, we're going over the greatest game to ever come out on PS3, even maybe even the PS4, I would say. Already a bold statement. Yes. Let's get into The Last of Us. I have cared for has either died or left me. Everyone fucking except for you. So don't tell me that I would be safer with someone else because the truth is I would just be more scared. That was a, a very, very bold statement. Oh, I know. So, <laughs> I mean, just just come in with it. Why? Back it up. Back it you up, You guys man. don't agree with me? I'm not going to confirm nor deny. You don't think Last of Us was the best game for PS3? Yeah, I do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Suspense over. <laughs> <laughs> this game, I didn't even play it until the PS4. Yeah. So like, I didn't even know it was the greatest game for PS3. So after PS3 was over, <laughs> right? But uh, I borrowed it from you. Yeah. And I played it. I probably beat this game three or four times. Mm -hmm. it's I just it's worth it. It's worth yeah. it. And I played it again. Just to record this video because I knew we were reviewing it. Mm -hmm. I dropped everything else I was playing. I didn't play Madden. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't play any like Code Vein or those things we were reviewing. I didn't play any of them. I right. just played that for a week straight until I beat it again. And there's a reason because yeah. it's freaking amazing. And it's so odd that it's amazing to me because if you listen to anyone complain about video games, what are always the things that they complain about? Uh, so linear. Linear. Uh, you can't make cho choices and yeah, stuff. Choices don't matter. Uh, there's no multiple endings. Uh, it's single player. On the rails. On, ra on rails. Yeah. Everything is set pieces. Yeah. No choices for... Uh, Everything yeah. you hate about video games is what The Last of Us is. Yeah. And when I played it in 2013, it was... Blew your mind. Not yeah. only was it the best game of PS3, I gave it my game of the year. Yeah. I mean, no one asked me, but I gave it that. <laughs> 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 and I honestly thought that it was the best single player game ever made. Yes. And um, replaying it, it's still the best single player game ever made, in my opinion. I, yeah, to this day, it is. six years later, it's the best single player game ever made. I was expect I was surprised from the company that made it. Yeah, Crash Why? Bandicoot. Yeah, like <laughs> Crash Bandicoot coming out with The Last of Us. Yeah, yeah but they had Uncharted and Naughty stuff. Dog. I mean, yeah, but Uncharted was kind of easy to do. Yeah. Uncharted, you have a hero. Yeah. He's an action hero. Yeah. I mean, this game was, it had suspense, drama, violence, remorse. It had all that stuff. No. No, no, no. What happens now? How far are we going to take as this? As far as it needs to go. Where was this lab of theirs? Oh, she never said. She only mentioned that it was someplace out west. What are we doing here? This is not us. What do you know about us? About me? I know that you are smarter than this. Really? Guess what? We're shitty people, Joel. It's been that way for a long time. No, we are survivors. This is our chance. It is over, Tess! Now, we tried. Let's just go home. I'm not... I'm not going anywhere. This is my last stop. Holy shit. She's infected. <laughs> Joel. Let me see. I didn't mean for this. Show it to me. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Oops, right? Give me your arm. This was three weeks. I was bitten an hour ago, and it's already worse. This is fucking real, Joel. You've got to get this girl to Tommy's. He used to run with this crew. He'll know where to go. No, 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 no. That was your crusade. I am not doing that. Yes, you are. Look, there's enough here that you have to feel some sort of obligation to me, so you get her to Tommy's. You want us to just leave you here? Yes. There is no way that... I will not turn into one of those things. Come on. Make this easy for me. I felt what, yes, the characters were going through in this game, and I felt a sense of 
at the end, I felt a sense of like, like relief mm -hmm. of how the game ends. You know what I mean? Really relief. Yeah, because I was like really like relief because you build bonds with these characters, yeah, honestly, yeah. and that's something that games miss mm -hmm. a lot of the time. They All miss the, the mark on that. Well, let's just let's just uh, before we get to that, let's talk about story. Well, what what is this game? What well, I, I mean, if they made this game a series, a movie. I would watch it every yeah week. Oh, like a TV series? Yeah. Like oh yeah, this is everything. Series, that, I would watch it every. Yeah, week. this is everything The Walking Dead wishes it was. Yeah, but, but uh, you don't like The Walking Dead? No, I do, but it's not this. No, I love no. The Walking Dead. No, I can see. <laughs> but uh, um, no, it's your actually like the Telltale Walking Dead. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah that's, well, that's more based off of the comics. Yeah. yeah, I just meant the storytelling. Yeah, it's really good. I agree with that. We'll 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 do that sometime. <laughs> um, the story is your I won't say typical, but it's it's zombies. It's but your, it's it's not, your typical it, it's, apocalypse. Yeah, like it's you apocalypse. said, like if you explained it to people like what it was, you wouldn't Yeah. It wouldn't hit the mark with this game really is. No. Yeah. You have to experience this game to truly understand what it what it is. What, what this game is. is is more than the story. It Absolutely. is the characters the foremost. world. The, yeah, the yes. atmosphere of the world. And it does, I mean, it's not just a story, but the world tells a story. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like, you go in, there's a mission, not a mission, because there ain't no missions, but like, uh, there's this part where you're going through the sewer and you see these notes of people, like, people that were surviving in there, yeah. and like, this guy, he's coming on the shore and there's a ship. Yeah. You see the ship, you see the note, and then he went through the sewers and he yeah. created this maze. And then there's this guy that he was uh, trading materials with, like he was giving them food and they were giving him guns and he was like, I'm just going on vitamins. So, like, yeah. they built a small community and they had like schools and there's mm -hmm. children and then it got taken over. Yep. And like, all it takes is one person turning. Yep. Yeah. And then you see like, there's this note where like, and you see like a sheet over body, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's the, the classroom. And it's just depressing. It yeah. paints this really sad world. Right. I'm sitting here, like, literally going back into it. Like, yeah, I just I'm noticed, I was like... I'm literally following along and you know what? playing through this right and, now. and again, this is something that every game does. Play play any yeah. game, and there's notes on the wall. There's notes here. But not every game makes you want to stop and read every right. single no. one. Right. Like, the one where you're in the little boy's room, and you read his diary. Yeah. And it's like, mom and dad are fighting a lot. we got to move away. I can't take my dog. Yeah. Yeah. But their luggage is still packed. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, never, they never made it. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's it's, it's dark. Yeah. It's yeah, a real dark game. And um, you care. Yeah. Absolutely. About this, every single character in this yeah, game. Absolutely. This game probably does one of the best jobs of character progression. And I don't mean leveling up. No. No. I mean taking. So the main character you play as when you start this Joel. whole game, Joel. You're you're a dad. You're mm -hmm. a working working class guy. Yeah. And the Best opening cutscene ever. Oh my god, yeah, the opening cutscene is 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. And you the, you watch him experience the apocalypse as it's happening, the panic, the frustration, mm -hmm. all of these emotions that he's feeling. With his brother, like, with oh his brother god. and his yeah. daughter and all of this. And then the game just fast forwards you. Like, 20 years. Like 20 years. Yeah. And now, you know, you see what the world has turned Joel into. Yeah, and then you get to experience what he becomes as he progresses with Ellie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is the the little there's a little girl named Ellie in the mm -hmm. show in the game. Yeah, and what the whole story is about basically is um, there's a disease, sort of infection, and it, it basically cordyceps is the name of it. And it's a real disease that exists today. Really, so, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. It doesn't affect humans. It only affects insects. Really? Yeah. That, that is that. that is actually interesting, but. Um, so, in, in this world, it affects humans and basically turns them into these zombies that eventually turn into plants type of thing. Yeah, there's a fungus that grows in their brain yeah. and affects them. Like, there's the yeah. runners. Where yeah, and, and like... And there's also like the blind. And if you get infected... Clickers. Yeah, yeah. If you get infected, you're essentially a form of a zombie. And you're done. If you get infected, that's it. Yeah, there's no, no cure. cure. Ellie gets infected and nothing she happens. She gets bit. Yeah. She, yeah. She gets bit and she's nothing immune. happens. Yes. She's immune. So in this world, everything's spread out. You know, there's no, I mean, there's still civilizations popping up and stuff, but it's very segregated. So Joel basically, he, he's a, a type, he's in a faction basically, and it's kind he's of his smuggler. job. He's a smuggler, he's yeah. He's a smuggler. And it's basically his job, he gets paid to take Ellie to the next part. Well, he takes her there. And he doesn't and, want to do it. Yeah, he yeah, doesn't he want to doesn't do it at all. He doesn't want to with this at all. But, um, 
you know, things happen and he ends up having to take her all the way across the country. And that's all this game is, yeah. is you're it's going an, from point one, A to point B. One long ass escort mission. Yeah. And it is the best escort mission that you'll yes. ever take part in. Yes, it is. Um, let's talk a little bit about the actual gameplay. We mm -hmm. hit a lot on story. Let's tell them about the gameplay a little gameplay bit. Gameplay is so good. The, the, I didn't really like the inventory management in this game. I uh, know, I could have I thought, I thought it could have been better. It could have been better. Um, but the combat. The combat in this game was superb. When you punched people, yeah, you, just you fell fell. Back. Back. Yeah, like that was what I loved, and I loved how you couldn't. This isn't a stealth game by any mean, by any stretch. It, there are it stealth has aspects, but yeah. it's not a stealth game. No. Yeah. But there are parts to where if you don't stealth it, you make it. you're not gonna make it. Yeah. And they did those parts of stealth incredibly well. A lot yeah. of games will try to implement stealth. And it'll just be a shit show. Yeah, because yeah, it's not a stealth game. Yeah, so. because they just don't care about that. Yeah. But it seems like this game did a lot of different things, and they made sure to take their time on every single one of them. Yeah. Every mechanic got fleshed out. Yeah, I agree with that. And it was it, it yeah. flowed really it's nice together. Sequence, like you know, what yeah. you tell they just, like the line of sight system they used is really yeah. good. The pacing of this game was amazing. Oh, yeah. a lot of times you'll have a game where it's just like combat, 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 dialogue. <laughs> combat, 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 stealth mission. This yeah, was this combat thing. or dialogue during combat yeah. at some points. Yeah. Like, like, and you flowed. It just flowed, paced so well throughout yeah. the whole title. You literally, if you don't, if you don't <laughs> feel something in the first fifteen minutes of this game, then I, I don't want to know you. <laughs> <laughs> One of uh, another thing that I really enjoyed about this game was the setting, the atmosphere. Because you're in, you see these cities, and they use real cities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you see these cities, and it's 20 years of neglect. Yeah. Because you know the, the world's been taken over, and they did a really good job of appropriately aging the decay. Yeah. yeah. You know, you'd see trucks with rusted out fenders, and you'd see bridges with vines growing mm -hmm. all over them and yeah. stuff. I mean, in a real life situation, it's not going to be like a nuke went off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be buildings crumbled over and yeah. disaster everywhere. Yeah. They did a really good job of building that sense yeah. of isolation, kind There's of. There's that one part where you're in Pittsburgh. Yeah. You get up to the very top of the hotel and you look up over the whole city. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's beautiful yeah. vista, dude. Beautiful vista. The game in general is beautiful. The, yeah. I mean, the gra even the graphics are just, they're great. Yeah. Art style, great. Oh, yeah. Um, and you know what? And then comes down to it, I mean, this game is a single player focused story game. They added multiplayer, and yeah. even it was good. Yeah, it I mean, was. it's not the greatest multiplayer I've ever played in my I life. Play the it's a third person cover based multiplayer system. It's pretty it, good. It's it's really cool. It integrates, I want to say, it's it's been a while. When we replayed it this time, I didn't play the multiplayer, but yeah. I did back on yeah. PS3. And I want to say it takes your Facebook friends and you have your own colony. <laughs> yeah. And then the better you do in multiplayer, it starts building up and you get more of your Facebook friends and it'll be like, oh, Aaron uh, is collecting water, Randy's doing this and <laughs> yeah. stuff. And then if you start doing bad in multiplayer, people in your colony start it's dying, but your actual friends and stuff. It's pretty cool. And the multiplayer is just, I mean, the multiplayer is just basically the combat. It's third person, yeah. 6v6 or you whatever. You still use the inventory system the same mm -hmm. way. You can still stuff. build stuff and survive and Craft stuff like that. that. So they did a really good job of developing the relationship between Joe and Ellie. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. in the beginning, like, uh, Joel don't want anything to do with her. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Like, Joe don't, Joe. Joe, Joe don't give two shits about anything. <laughs> anything. No. Except drinking. Yeah. <laughs> he was, yeah. But then like, as that goes on, like, by you, you know, you just have to play it. I don't want to spoil yeah, it. Yeah. We're not going to spoil this one. This is, uh, I don't have a problem giving spoilers for some games. I don't want to for this one. It if you've happen. played it, you know exactly what we're talking about. If you haven't played it, but the gameplay turn difference, us off and yeah, go play it. Turn us off. Because mm -hmm. uh, there was parts when you had B Ellie, right? Mm -hmm. And they made it. They made him feel different. Right. Like when you felt with Joel, like he had no problems going to punch and everyone out. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. But with Ellie, you couldn't self kill people because she wasn't big enough. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. like, it gave you a feeling of like. You know what I'm saying? Being helplessness. More scared. Help, yeah, yeah, the helplessness yeah. of being her, how scared she might have felt in that situation. Right. You know what I'm saying? She's a little girl, you know what I mean? Yeah. In this terrifying, but that's the only world she's ever known, too. Yeah. So, so she has tough this as sense hell. of like, confidence about her, mm -hmm. toughness. She's never seen her. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot about that. Um, one thing that, which I'm, I know we're dragging this out a little Sorry. bit, but one thing that I really, really love that they did, I get so sick and tired of single player games 
here's your character. You're a superhero. Yes. Joel did not feel that way to me. No. no. I still felt Joel was a man. Yeah. And he could easily be dispatched. Joel. A man's man. Yeah. And I, I think this is the whole exactly. thing of the whole entire game. Joel is a normal person with normal person flaws. Yep, exactly. And and they are some big flaws. Yep. An ordinary person put in an extraordinary situation and the way he deals with it is how I feel I would deal with it yeah, or yeah. a normal human being would deal with it. Yeah. You wait here. Now, the girl, is she alive? What girl? I don't know no girl. <laughs> Fuck! Focus, right here, right here. I'll pop your goddamn knee off. The girl. She's alive. She's David's newest pet. Where? In the town. Now you're gonna mark it on the map. And it better be the same exact spot your buddy points to. Mark it. It's right there. You can verify it. Go ask him. Go on. I tell you. I ain't lying. I ain't. <laughs> You man, he told you what you wanted. I ain't telling you shit. That's all right. I believe it. No wait. So I, we've pretty much touched on more than we needed to. It's just we're pretty passionate about this game. Yeah. And I don't think there's going to be any surprises here. But what do you think about this game? I'm not going to give this game a number because that would be disrespectful to the game. <laughs> What I'm gonna say to anybody that hears my voice right now, you have to play it. It is one of the games that will live on forever, yeah. I feel. And 2019, you could you dropped everything you were doing to play it. This yeah. game came out in 2013. So play the game. That's mm -hmm. all I'm gonna say. No number here. Yeah. Hopefully, it. hopefully you have already played this game. You're missing out if you haven't. Um, I was gonna give it a score, but I feel like I'm not allowed now. <laughs> no scores. Uh, I'm not allowed. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> you can give it a score, I'm just kidding. It's not my favorite game of all time, but it's probably the best game of all time, if that makes any sense at all. There's games I like more, but I know they're not better than this game. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so, uh, if it were to get a score, 10. What do you think, Randy? Well, we already told you in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> this game nailed everything. The voice acting, the story, the mechanics. Uh, the only negative I had about this was that you had to play multiplayer to get a plan. Yeah. And that's not even, I'm not even gonna count that. <laughs> right, right. It is one of the best The inventory ever. system was a little bit of the only. Yeah, like. But I mean, ships. not not bad enough to no. care. Even right. though I hate limited storage, and like, like I've said before, shivs, I need to kill zombies. Yeah. It's a zombie killing game. Right. I only have three. <laughs> I think they did that inventory system like that to inspire that sense of desperation. It did. Though. You know what I mean? That it sense of helplessness. Well the game. Yeah. And uh, I actually liked it better playing on because I hated not being able to pick something up, so I do something to craft something to pick up this. You know what I'm saying? Right, whatever. right. But on the hardest difficulty, survival or survival ground, one one of them was harder than the other. But I played on the hardest one. You ain't ever going to have too much stuff you can't pick up. <laughs> <laughs> so that like helped with my OCD. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. But uh, I get you. this game's totally a ten. I give it a uh, a ten, a ten, a fucking ten. Well, I think that's the first time that's ever happened on this show, any of us getting giving a game a perfect score, let alone yeah. all three of us. But if it was going to happen, it was going to be this game. Yeah. Just it an amazing it. game. Yeah, it does Absolutely deserve it. Deserve but it. as always, we're just another game review, Randy, Zach, and Aaron. Um, if you don't know, The Last of Us 2 comes out. Um, it was just delayed until May, yeah, May of next year, May yeah, of 2020. Right. Um, Sucks. So, yeah. if you haven't played The Last of Us, please do before that comes out because I, that's going to be a big deal and Absolutely. I can't wait for it. And we're definitely going to be reviewing mm -hmm. Last of Us too. But uh, <laughs> if, you like, yeah. <laughs> if you like what we're doing here, um, please like, favorite, subscribe, hit the notification bell, uh, let us know, you know, and uh, follow us on Twitter at Just a Game Review. And until next time, guys, we'll see you. Peace.
It's how I would deal with it if I drank more and, you know, was cooler. <laughs> <laughs> but I wish Joe was my dad. <laughs> uh, I wish I had a dad. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. Um, 